Welcome to the Crafty Kansan. Today, as promised, I have the part two of my Michael's back to school grab bag. And here is a general overview of what was in my box. But let's take a look at it one piece at a time. So here's my box. Um, at my store, they have the longer boxes just sealed with tape. I know some of you have said your stores does the bag style so you can actually sort of see through the bags. But with the box, I feel like it can hold more, so it's a better bargain. So it looks like there is a lot of like party type favors and prizes in here. So let's go ahead and get started and look at them one by one. The first item we have is a 12 pack of bubbles. This was originally, I believe, $1.99. And I have one two, three, and a fourth pack of bubbles. And I will use these, uh, as I said in the other video, as a giveaway for a trunk or treat that my church is having this year. Kids will be thrilled to have those. Also some more of these whistles. These were also included in my last video. And I did notice they look like people. Um, and I will tell you from experience, my son was blowing on these all day yesterday and they are very high pitched. So <laughs> if that's kind of not your thing, you might just want to get these out of your house real quick. And also some more of these little mini buckets of slime. We did take some out and played with them and it's very runny, watery type of slime. It, I mean, when it's in your hands, you feel like it's literally going to go between your fingers. So I would not use this over carpet or anything like that. Some more of these metals, a uh, little red, white, and blue gold metals. Of course, they're made of plastic. These would be great for a field day or in a teacher's classroom. Some more of the mermaid pencil sharpeners, and we're doing at-home learning right now, so we are always on the lookout for more pencil sharpeners, and we will be using these. It's taking me a little longer to get into my box here. And some more of these gift card holders. I believe I got three different styles. I'm sure you could slip some cards, gift cards in there and use those as classroom incentives. I, I got quite a few of those. Um, here's some more of these mini accents. I'm assuming these are to go on bulletin boards. And I've got them in a chevron and some more of these. Um, bursts and uh, got quite a few of those and then I think we also got an arrow one also if I remember correctly yeah there's arrow in the primary colors and dry erase markers which we can always use in our house because we do have a dry erase board um, I don't have very many colors, so I'm kind of excited about getting that orange and pink. And this really cute uh, wood mount stamp set. It just has a bunch of sayings on it like, good job. Um, you know, things that you would stamp on a child's work. Uh, some more of those I believe it's sparkleberry items. And those are little pins. And I do have a daughter that collects pins and likes to put them on her backpack so uh, this is an iron-on it's pretty big it's um, very sparkly it's got a lot of sequins on it that was originally I believe $3.99 and I got two of those more of that sparkleberry um, and these are cute little flamingos I have a friend that loves flamingos I'll probably give those to her some thank you cards um, little note cards with I believe envelopes And my daughter is uh, a teacher, and she works in a classroom, and I'm going to go ahead and give her this. This is a little lanyard thing to hold their ID so they can get in and out of the school with their passes, and so I will be gifting that to her. And 
And some celebrated line of party favors. I've got this kind of a silvery gold happy birthday banner. And I got two of those in my box. And one of these little bags of stencils. I thought these were really cute. I will use those for prizes at our trunk or treat also. And these are the name plates. And in a little bit, you'll see where these name plates go. You write the children's names on them and then slip them into kind of a plastic sleeve cover. And then it hangs on the wall inside of another, um, I don't know what you call it. I want to call it a file, but that's not what it is. <laughs> another Sparkleberry. This is a notepad with a little magnet on the back. And this thought this is really cute. I, you do usually don't get too much boy stuff in these grab bags, but this is a spiral bound, uh, kind of like a little notebook. It doesn't have lined pages, but it has this really cute um, stencil attached to it. And a three hole punch, which goes in your notebook. It has little rings there where you can put it in a, in a binder. And we always need those at our house. We can never seem to find the hole punch ever. That just gets moved around and circulated through the house, and then no one seems to know <laughs> where it's at. Um, chalkboard cubes. I'm not really sure what these are. They're covered in chalkboard material. I'm not sure if they're just supposed to be some type of fun accents. Um, I'm thinking about using them as feet on like a tray or something of it for a DIY I have coming up. We've got more name plates. And then this cute little cup was in there. Um, I think it's supposed to be a lot, go with something else like a planner. It says on it, um, I can't remember, happy planner or something like that. But there was no price on the cup whatsoever. And then also this squad bag, it's iridescent. It's a fanny pack. It also did not have a price, so I did not include that, those two items in the price of the haul, which I will give you the retail price of everything at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. We have two of these little stamp sets. They're like self-inking stamp sets. Um, they have little cinnamons on them, like way to go, good job, super learner. Uh, this is really cute. This is a little unicorn uh, pen set, and I just, this reminds me of like the Lisa Frank stuff that was popular when I was young. That's telling you my age again <laughs> and then these cute little glitter pens I'm not sure what those things are at the top they look like hamburgers but I don't think they're supposed to be hamburgers <laughs> uh let's see what else do we have here some more dry erase markers now here is that uh, plastic learning, they call it a learning center, and you uh, hang it on the wall. You don't hang it that way, you hang it horizontally, and then you put um, the kids' names in there, or you can put like whatever you want to highlight for the day. Um, you could put subjects in there, like you know, English, math, spelling, whatever. And then we had a few of these. Um, I call them busy worksheets. I don't, I don't know, you know, kind of like the get to know you, but they had quite a few of these in the box. Um, I believe that first one was, uh, heroes in your neighborhood. This one is a book report. So it, you give it to the children and it helps them break down what they read, like what's the subject, who was the main characters, you know, give them a breakdown of what the story is about. Um, these are little purple mini uh, clipboards, and I did have one of these in my part one haul box also, and so those were really cute. And a Sparkleberry Flamingo little journal. Originally it was $9.99. I love those colors. It's very spring and summery. And as in my other haul video, I got a lot of these punch-out letters. Um, these were originally 
$5.99 a piece. And you, as you can see, I got two in red, a primary colored pack of the punch out letters. And then some black, which is great because that just goes with everything when you're working on bulletin boards and you don't want to break out your Cricut and, you know, cut out all those letters. Here you go. All right, and so I think this is the everyday um, heroes. This is just wall art um, to put on your wall in your classroom. Or if you homeschool uh, young kids, this would be really cute. This is very helpful. It would have been helpful when I was teaching my kids about time. It's a time chart, how to do time. And yes, science stuff. I'm so excited. Um, this is about scientific method and what that is and how you come to those conclusions. Um, yeah, I'll be keeping that one. <laughs> Anything science related. And then finally, I've seen this quite a bit in some of the other haul videos. It's a birthday board. Um, it's like a blackboard. Um, like a chalkboard and you can write the child's name in there and you could they could hold it in front of them and you could take a picture with them year after year and so here's an overview of everything that I got in the hall I'm pretty excited about this um the MSRP I guess that's not really the the retail price on all of these products was over a hundred and ninety one dollars and of course I got this whole box for five dollars at the Michaels grab bag sale it is probably still going on in your area today usually it's Mondays and Tuesdays uh, just as a reference I shop in Missouri so if that helps at all hopefully your stores might still have a few of these left so run on down there and see what they have or just give them a call. They'll be happy to tell you whether they're doing grab bags slash boxes or not. And I thank you for joining me today on the Crafty Kansan. And until next time.